Here, I'm going to show you guys a really simple way to make your programming life in VBA and macro so much easier. And it's called the helper or worksheet. And the concept that I want to convey here is that even though you're programming, you're making your macros and your functions, all your procedures and code, it doesn't mean that you can't do some of your work in the worksheet. And that can actually save you a lot of time and a lot of headaches. What we need for that is the helper worksheet. And even though I'm not going to be covering VBA directly in this tutorial, I have an entire course on it that'll take you from beginner and intermediate level all the way to advanced and expert level. With over 50 hours of content, over 200 tutorials, and 200 downloadable Excel files that are fully commented and you can copy and paste into any project to get a jump started. So I've got all the resources that you need to learn VBA and macro programming for Excel. And there's a link to that course below this video. Now here, let me just elaborate more on what I mean by the helper worksheet. So here I've got a list of emails. And I got a message from someone taking my email course the other day. They said, listen, it's a great course. I've got the emails all lined up how they should be. Everything works. I click a button. It automatically sends the email. But I have a problem. What I want to do is to have a dynamic list of emails where I can just go like this and click yes or no and then have that email included in the BCC or the CC list or the to list. So they needed a little bit more VBA knowledge than they had. They were able to do all of the emailing, but they needed to do some work out here in the worksheet. But even though they didn't know how to loop through a list and check another column and then get the value and combine all of it, they did know how to get a value from a cell. So I introduced them to the concept of the helper worksheet, where they can have this nice, neat little interface. But then they have another hidden backend worksheet that only has formulas. This is one single, simple formula. And it creates the list of emails exactly how they need to be presented to be put as a to, a CC, or a BCC. So email, semicolon, email, semicolon. And now the only VBA that that person has to do is to get the value from B5 in the back end worksheet. Now, even if you have the skills to loop through a list and check everything, this can actually be so much easier because then you only have one tiny little line of code in your macro instead of a bunch of lines of code that are going to loop through things, check things, and that you have to debug and update and maintain. This is going to make your life so much easier. I'm going to go ahead and show you the formula that I made real quick. This is an Excel 365 formula, but it doesn't matter what it is. As long as you can do it here in the worksheet and it's really easy for you to do, go ahead and do that. Save yourself some headaches. So we use the text join, a great, great function. Delimiter is going to be semicolon, ignore empty, true, and how about our list of values? We're going to use the great new filter function for that. And for the array, the things that we want to include, that's going to be the emails right here. Then comma to go to the include argument. How do we want to filter these guys? Well, by this, and then equals, quote, yes, quote, and close the filter, and close the text join, and enter. And the only VBA that you need now is worksheets backend.range, and then either B5, or go ahead and name this range, even better and then dot value. And you can pop this directly into your email macro. And what you can do is go ahead and hide this worksheet, make it Excel very hidden so that the user can never directly access it. So you've got a nice, safe, simple way to make your coding life much easier. So if you ever get stuck in VBA and macros, just think, could I do this easier in the worksheet? And then just grab the result and pull it into the macro. And for this tutorial, uh, that's all there is. If you want to learn a lot more VBA, remember to check out my full VBA course, and I'll put a link to it below this video.